Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome back to another Deadman Mode video. We are starting today off as a rank 27 with 111,182 points, but very close to a ton of points, such as 99 thieving, 99 attack, 99 defense, maybe even 99 farming. Not to mention a lot of PvE stuff that I still need to do can give me a ton of points. So a lot of points on the table, and I still haven't kept breaches either. So yeah, the goal is very simple, keep gaining Deadman Mode points and hopefully find a place as a consistent front page player in Deadman Mode. Alright then, let's start it off with a little farm run. I need to be very consistent with this because Deadman Mode is ending in 5 days. Here's the first one, 93 farming, checking this magic tree. Here is 94 farming as well. Sleep was great, the trees are grown, here's 96 farming, only 3 more levels to go. I don't have Scythe at the moment, so I'm not going to be going for Hespori speed tasks, but I have to kill 5 of them anyways. So let's just go ahead and do it with just a zombie axe is all we got right now. Okay, Hespori number 2, let's take a look at the XP, 120k and we plant another one. We need to kill 5 in total, I think it should be more than doable. It is time for me to go and kill 150 Black Knights in order to finish my Falador Elite Diaries. My first Elite Diaries, I will just do it without a cannon this time around, it's only 150. And I'm gonna do my best to Fletch at the same time, I bought 3000 Rundar tips, that should hopefully give me a couple of Fletching levels. Starting on 84 Fletching. Okay, I believe I am very close to being done here. Yeah, one more kill and we are done. This process took quite a few hours, let's put it that way. But we'll finally have the Elite Diaries done and we'll be able to move to new and uh, better things. So there it is, that should be done. We are now a White Knight Master, lovely. Let's buy a White Two-Hander Sword. Alright, I always fail to do this, but let's refresh the points right before we do it. So 111.307, and after buying a white to hander sword, we now get, let's see, so 307 into, yeah, basically 300 points, so that is pretty damn good. But that is not everything. With this completion, we now have an ability to track Mole while we kill her, and that was kind of the goal for this. I didn't really expect to fully do it, but we ended up doing it, and not only that... Uh, we also get a big XP lamp, going from 66 room crafting. I need level 17, a skill you nah, you are trolling. I did not know, that is really not ideal actually. I might manually train my room crafting to 70 so I can use a lamp on it. I know how I'm gonna do it, it's just gonna be annoying. I'll be honest, this level requirement caught me off guard a little bit, but the solution to the problem is to do a little bit of Archaeus books. We're gonna put the teleport into the library, and let's see if anybody is here. So I'm gonna be using Sigil of Leith, which is gonna be giving me agility XP throughout this process, and I'm gonna be dropping my food as we go. This activity unfortunately makes it so you don't really have a lot of inventory space for food, so the likelihood of dying is very high, uh, risking about a million, still better than uh, attuning a Guardian Angel Sigil, for example, because what I lose right now is worth less than 4 million. And let's see how much XP we will get in runecrafting for a book. 3000 experience. Okay, it's gonna be a little bit of a process, but we can get it done. Oh, and this is a book I also wanted, Transportation Incantations. By reading this, I basically unlock an ability to teleport to the center of the current, I believe. Up to 68 room crafting, just two more levels to go. The XP per hour is not phenomenal, let's put it that way. It gets better with each level, but it's not great. Agility XP though, 700k just sprinting around is not bad. I will commit to getting this up to 70, even though it might take like an hour of my time. But I don't really want to put this massive XP lamp on any other skill. Hmm. I see people. Would this guy hit? He teleported out, he saw me as well. Uh, luckily, we're almost at the point where we're ending. And when I'm next to the stair, I'm not necessarily too scared. But if he knew what I had in the inventory, maybe he would have reacted differently. But as you guys saw, that's the 70 room crafting. We can now use this antique lamp on room crafting and get 500,000 experience. 
it was worth it. We're now 75. I'm just gonna use the rest of the books. And I do believe it is time to finish off our 99 thieving next. I might miss this one a little bit. I'm not even gonna lie. There is level 99 thieving. And the breach is in 1 hour and 20. So maybe we do a little bit of mole now that we have elite diaries completed. There is one more thing I wanna do before committing to mole. And that is I wanna claim my rewards. I completely forgot that I can get an XP lamp here as well. Yeah, there we go. So we have a tier 2 Gomal hilt right now using the antique lamp. Obviously. Obviously on runecrafting again, 100,000 XP, do we get a level? We get 76 runecrafting, very good. Now I can go ahead and do mole. Okay, so the plan for the mole is simple. I'm gonna still use the sigil of lathe so I can run around. But basically the idea is never get hit by mole, so I always have the insta tab available. And always kite the mole south, so I'm as close to an escape as possible. I'm gonna do all 75 kills of this. Because point efficiently, it is worth it. Oh wait, I didn't take the double speed. I should probably take the double speed. I do need to change my sigils just a little bit though. But this is the spot, escape is right there. I need to tank like two freezes in multi. Should be okay. Wait, that drop is not mine, so somebody else is doing this. Okay, I need to get Gunslinger. I will leave XP per hour on screen and I'm not gonna change it. That's gonna include all the downtime, all the sitting in bank, all the waiting. And I just wanna see how much XP I will get in total from going from 13 kills all the way to 75, if I can even do that. The breach is in less than an hour, so I don't think I can kill that many an hour. So I'm gonna do this for around 40 minutes, I think. Here's 92 range, halfway to 99. And that's 88 agility, that's the reason we're using life. I will be using it everywhere where I'm doing a lot of running until we reach 99. And there it is, all the combat achievement tasks for Mole are now also completed. I will probably push for 75 KC. I'm looking at the points, you get 12 per kill. I mean, it's not great, but I also need some range XP, so I think it's all right. Breach is in 20 minutes, I'm just randomly training some cooking with just some random raw fish that I have. Probably very inefficient, but I'm just waiting for the breach to happen. We'll be starting this one at about 112,500 points. Sorcerer's Tower. Oh, let me see the NA. Oh, and the other one is Castle Wars. We're gonna go to Castle Wars. Both of these breaches are fairly hard, but there is a special item I could take. I'm gonna basically do one minute less, but it might be worth it. Most people don't have map and lantern, which basically gives me a cave escape for free. Oh, be care on me. Tank on. Oh, he's in Verax. <laughs> okay, now what? Okay, and I guarantee you he doesn't have this escape. So we're fine. Bank, go again. Ah, the Verax guy is perma on me, huh? Okay, all good. Let's see how we play it out. I'll try to get some damage in. Even whilst being hit. He's still on me, but I want to just deal a bit of damage. I'm willing to tank even one more freeze, no problem. He didn't deal any damage in that first freeze. Yeah, pick air on me again. I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna be greedy, even if he's perma hitting me. It's just not worth, like I need to get damage in. I need to reach the breach cap at some point because yeah, this is getting uh, a bit hard. Getting good damage in now though, haven't gotten hit in about 3 minutes. And there's an emblem immediately, beautiful. Okay, pick air on me. I'll go back, I'll be greedy. Okay, I'm now at the point where I don't have that many brews left, so I think... Yeah, there's a pick air on me again. Just need to be smart how I play it. Gonna keep hitting whilst tanking. Keep dealing damage. And we're gonna tab, bank, come back. Not bad. Hmm, it could be that I reached the cap. I'm not sure. But I felt that way multiple times before. So let's just see if this changes. 7, 4, 8. Yeah, that's the bridge gone. And that is us out. 
I think it might be possible. 748, yeah, it's not refreshing anymore. I think this is it for the breaches in this Deadman mode. We capped it with four days to go. We had a very rough time at the breaches, a lot of being attacked, but we managed to cap it, so 70,000 points obtained, I think. I'm still gonna join the next breach or the next two breaches just to double check that I'm not actually getting any points. As soon as I confirm this, we're gonna be doing other activities during the breach time in order to, you know, hopefully grind more points. But I'm gonna do what I always do. At the end of the breach, we're gonna log out, log in, and see where we stand on the leaderboards. Currently, rank 13, nearly 2000 total level, and rank 28 in deadman points. Why is it so hard to get these deadman points, damn it? All right, we'll figure it out. Let's keep on grinding. If you do not want to miss future uploads, consider subscribing. It is peak time, so it's time for me to do a bunch of quests that are gonna help us in the future for, well, a lot of point tasks, so let's go ahead and get it done. That is the golem, completed. I want to create an arc light at some point, so here's the silver light obtained, and that's demon slayer, completed. Alright, there we go, we can now pick XP, and we're gonna use ranged. How much was that? 150,000, I think. And that is Shadow of the Storm also completed. Okay, if you take a look in my inventory, the reason I did this quest is because I want to do Scotizo. Scotizo is going to give us a lot of points and there's also Combat Achievement Diaries included. And for one of those, well, I kind of need to have a Dark Light. Well, Arc Light to be exact, but I need to make it. So we're going to go in multi with the okay-ish risk. The task I want to complete on the first KC is to take zero damage. I will probably fail, but let's get it done. There we go. No damage taken. Perfect. That should also give me a ton of points. Yeah, almost 500. Oh, we needed that. And I can try to do the clue scroll too. All right, let's take a look. Hard clue scroll. Ooh, wait a second. That's extremely good. Arma Dehyde Boots, phenomenal for God Wars. Bandos Chaps, phenomenal for God Wars. That is a really good clue. It is time to power train some smithing. I have a ton of gold ores that I bought for very cheap. And by speaking to Avan, I can get myself a goldsmith gauntlet. And there it is, we're gonna be using that for a lot of XP. Okay, XP an hour is ridiculous, but the risk I'm using here by having no food, no freezes, no nothing is even more ridiculous. Wait, what? I did not even see there was a guy there. Yeah, I can't, I can't be staying with this sort of supplies. Okay, time to do something else, I guess. Oi, oi, oi. It's time to do fire cape, I've been procrastinating this long enough because I want to do infernal cape as well. I've been originally waiting till 99 range, but we need fire cape anyways, so let's get it done. What? Why are people everywhere, bro? Are you serious? There is no shot, man. He even went for me, he hit me. Okay, I can't even do that. Like, what can I do? Well, unfortunately, we got demoted back to doing achievement diaries. Now, luckily for us, these are worth a ton of points. Ardun, I can do just about everything. The only problem is mornings and part two. But I will do as many of these tasks as I possibly can. And uh, I'll wait a bit of time before I try to do something again. It is very late, so I'm just doing a little bit of skilling. Getting my hunter up there. Getting a bunch of chins that I can maybe throw or sell in order to get our range to 99 as well. There we go, 70 hunter was the goal, 579 chins, that is a very solid. But now it is time to do something else. Time for a quick farm run, here's 97. Okay, we waited a long time for this to grow. Here it is, 98 farming. And we can also get a task done by getting a redwood log from up here. And just like that, an elite task completed as well. Okay, so I've done the entire waves melee only for the task. I did, however, take range in, so I don't know if it's gonna work. I need to not forget to tank a jet hit. There we go. Good luck, us. And there we go. Okay. So, using this gear, it was very slow to use melee only, but we got a near miss and fight caves veteran. But I did not get the melee only. Oh no, I guess I can't bring anything else. On a positive though, I got nearly 1000 points. Yeah, so I didn't get this combat achievement even though I did it all with melee. So I guess I can never bring any of other things in at all. Okay, so it's very late. There's not that many people on. I want to pop Prosperity Devotion Onslaught and I want to go throw the chins that we got earlier. Just to see if maybe I can get a range level or two in the caves. There is 93 range. 
and there is 94 range with 2025 total. I do want to get this to 99. Obviously, I don't have enough chins right now, though. 95, and somehow I'm still alive. 96. Three more levels to go. Maybe we can make it work. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. <laughs> okay, we're alive. We're alive. Uh, I don't think I'm going back. 96 will we'll be okay with it. 96 is a good number. The breach is starting in 20 minutes, but because we already reached the point cap, I'm gonna do a Ziliana trip real quick. Okay, we're starting on 35 KC. I'm hoping to get 75 on this boss. It is such a weird feeling seeing the breach pop and I'm just here killing Ziliana. It's going really well. Solos are super chill. But it's also very late, so I can't really speak. Didn't get anything this trip, but I am happy because... Every now and then I'm gonna do a small trip like this and if I get an item good and if I don't, also good. I just wanna see if I can get points or not. 116563. Yeah, I definitely don't get points anymore. But I have this monster all to myself, so... We'll give it a shot. I mean, I came, I killed one guy, I got a trinket. That's crazy. I mean... <laughs> Yeah, we don't get any points, unfortunately, but we did get a trinket, which is really good. Let's open it and see what do we get. All right, let's take a look. What do we see today? Is it a scythe? Is it a volatile? It is a scythe. Wow. Okay, that's like 16 mil. That is really good. That is really good. Okay, I'm gonna obviously get some sleep because it's 4 a.m. But we now have a Tebow scythe and Tumicans that I can use in all sorts of different PVM. So very, very useful. This is where I'll be ending the episode. It is very late, so I'm getting some sleep. We're currently rank 28 or 27. And we're finishing today off with 116,563. I'll see you again tomorrow.